Alright. Well, we're back at Kingscliff and uh yeah, you can hear this like guy. There's this dude in a station wagon just over there. He's like he must be coming off the end of a <laughs> big weekend. He's got this music cranked at in the car park where everyone's setting up, so it's pretty funny. One of those days where you sort of expecting little didn't expect the weather to clear up so well and then all of a sudden it's uh, cleared up very nicely. So apart from the cloud cover, this actually should be a really nice morning. It's actually quite a big contingent of kayaks coming out. So we'll better hit the water and go and check out Party Man over here. <laughs> So this will be interesting, new uh, new tactic on the troll cam, I found that the uh, hard body was shaking the camera around so much that it sort of made the footage a bit dodgy. So we've got a, a new, this is like the new power bait eel, so he'll be swimming along behind the troll cam today, hopefully creating a bit of action, and hopefully when he's just dangling there he'll get nailed by a big snapper, or whatever takes a liking. I don't know how he's going to swim, it'll be interesting to see. Uh, which way am I going here? Okay, through there. Really? Okay. And around there. <laughs> Alright. So, troll cam out first. Look at that eel. That actually looks pretty cool. Okay, make sure I'm not near the bommy. God, I'm dying for this thing to go off. This hook here has been on since last summer. And like the two summers before that, I'd been getting hit on this camera all the time. I just get hit after hit. And now that I finally put a hook on it, I get nothing. <laughs> so come this summer, I'll put some time into getting that out more. Hopefully something exciting happens there. Oh god, he's got a bit of pull. Better tighten up a little bit on him, actually. How much have I got on him? Let's get him up a bit. Oh, hang on. Oh, sugar. That's not good. He's definitely taken more than I want him to take. I'm not doing very well on this guy at all. I think it's a funny angle I'm going on. Tiring now, I can feel it. Okay, here we go. Oh. It's far from a pretty fight. It's not a bad snapper though. Whew. Here we go. Oh, he's a good one actually. Let's not stuff this up. And he barely lipped in there as well. Alright, oi. Alright. That's a good snap. So we'll call that a nice one. Oh, I think I marked that spot as well. Uh, yeah. That was a bizarre fight. I, like, he's definitely putting a good account in for himself. Look at that drag. Like, that's pretty tight. So he was putting a pretty good effort in, actually. 
All right. Very good effort, actually, for his size. So for, there were stages there where I was a bit afraid. Like I, He was definitely taking line faster than I was sort of bringing it in. Got a bit touch and go. So I was working hard just to keep him up off the bottom. But once he came up a little bit, it was not so bad. But Oh, yeah, no, he's a good one, actually. Ooh. Okay, we... Get this off. All right. So, if everyone, everyone is always asking me whether I kill the fish, yes, I do. Uh, I don't tend to put it on camera. Um, I'm probably going to dispatch him now quickly. So, if you wonder why it cuts, usually after I put him in the hatch, that's what's happening. So, I, that's just not, you know, there's no need for me to show that. Maybe at some point I will show like a specific way to do it, but at this stage, it's, it's better I just don't put it on. Uh, this is what did the damage. The glow jerk shad, so it's a glow gulp jerk shad, which uh, I've been favouring ever since uh, a couple of weeks ago when they did really well. I've been sticking to them. I've got plenty in the. Uh, all of, there's a good mark here. I'm going to drop straight down on that. <laughs> so I'll deal with this guy, and then uh, we'll be back with you. All right, we've brought the hard body in, dispatched the fish. Yeah, we'll turn around. I've got to find, I did mark it, so I've got to find these little chicken feet. For some reason, the marks that I've been making recently have switched to a little chicken feet icon, so I've got these little chicken feet everywhere on my <laughs> sounder now. It's good, because at least I know which one of my current marks and the ones I've been marking recently. But it's sort of bad, because they're kind of hard at a spot. There it is, 422. So, a bit more over this way, and we'll be on the money. I'm glad I marked that, I wouldn't have been able to find it again. But there were some really good lines, there was actually plenty more lines on that sounder so there could be a good school of them there. Let's see if we can get back on it. Yeah, it's definitely in the area that I know produces, so it's no surprise that the fish are here. All right, as soon as we're on it, we'll drop down again. So I don't know if you've ever see this, they never look that close on the GoPros, but there's a whale like Jess in front of me, sort of turned in my direction, so if I'm lucky, hopefully he'll come up right next to me somewhere, see where he's going to come up. I'm guessing just around here somewhere, it's always hard to tell. Oh, while well, we wait for this whale to jump, it looks like he's taken off, he was jumping just in front of us again. But now that I've uh, stopped and I'm looking and I've got the camera on, he'll stop jumping, of course. But it's sort of a questionable and possible mark on the sounder, so we'll drop while we wait. Let's see if this thing flies off. Alright, so we're packing it up. Yeah, we've called it pretty early. What is it? 7.20. 7.20 now. I can't see any reason to sort of stick around. Like there could be fish further out where I was, but I decided to sort of hightail it in closer again to see what everyone else was doing and see if they got anything. But it turns out it's been very quiet in close as well, so I think it's uh, my cue. Saw around taking off, so I'll take off as well. I'm determined not to get smashed on the surf because I actually got cleaned up last time I was here. So uh, we'll see how we go. Surf's down, so it really shouldn't be an issue. See if we go through the creek mouth or not. Decisions. All right. See ya.
to so many people lose their underpants. There's one, two, three, four. 